Hi, I'm Jill Switzer, and I'm the Public Policy Director for Mental Health America of Texas. We're the oldest statewide mental health advocacy organization in Texas, 78 years. I have not been there the whole time. Um, I, I brought some notes with me. Um, I wanted to mention that I'm also a person with a serious mental illness. The top priority for Mental Health America of Texas this session is Medicaid expansion. We can think of no other way to impact people with mental illness and to, uh, excuse me, to provide prevention services to prevent mental illness from developing in some folks. I'm here to testify for Representative Turner's bill, and I thank him for his bill. First, some general points. Medicaid has worked in providing 2.5 million children and 1 million other vulnerable Texans with health coverage. Polls show that the majority of Texans support Medicaid. The main thing that doesn't work well about Medicaid is that the rates are so low, which is a state issue. Um, so I want to reiterate that that's the most important issue about the existing Medicaid program. Specifically related to mental illness, earlier in the day the chair pointed out that House Appropriations Subcommittee on Article 2 under the leadership of Representative Zerwas has proposed significant increased funding for mental health. Absolutely true, and as a full-time mental health advocate and a person with mental illness, I express immense gratitude. However, a way for us to magnify those dollars is to expand Medicaid. Here's an example. In 2010, Department of State Health Service, Services funded contractors across the state served 157,000 unduplicated adults with serious mental illness, which means in the way we define it in Texas, the three big diagnoses of schizophrenia, major depression, and bipolar disorder. Only 40% of those um, persons were Medicaid recipients. Therefore, 60% of those people were paid with straight general revenue. That doesn't make sense for Texas. <clears throat> for people with mental illness, please know that treatment works and people recover. I see it every day. Funding for mental health services makes sense. I sometimes find it um, demeaning in a way to have to express the dollars and cents of how much it, it, an investment in mental health pays back, but I'll go there. Um, I also would like to say that people with mental health problems deserve the same care and consideration as persons with other health care problems. Thank you very much. Thank you, and uh, thank you for your openness. Um, I think that you are a pioneer in talking about that openly, and I think it is a tremendous blessing to many, many families.